you think your stomach will feel in zero G? September 2019. Aston Martin, Red Bull Racing and Roscosmos, the Russian Space Corporation, teamed up for a world first. Attempting a pit stop whilst floating in zero G. When I first heard about this project, it was hard to believe. It would test us to, uh, to the extreme. With pit stops, if you try and push to be fast, generally you lose a lot of time. It's all about slow, deliberate manoeuvres, being able to keep cool under pressure. I saw it as a real opportunity to see how far we could push the boundaries. I've never dreamt in my childhood to become a spaceman. There's only one way to get an F1 team to float in a weightless environment, and that's inside a plane. The science is straightforward. A plane ascends at a sharp angle to 9,000 meters. Engines are stalled, and the plane freefalls over the Earth's curvature. That acceleration counterbalances gravity, resulting in weightlessness, zero G. The thought of going in a plane that's gonna go straight up and straight down, I think is gonna be very unnerving. And this is totally unnatural to what a plane should be doing. In my mind, it's an impossible environment. Just the fact that every force has a reaction. So as soon as you try and pull a wheel off or put a wheel on, all it's gonna do is spin your body around. Um, even to the point of pulling the trigger on the gun. Is that going to spin the gun round? You know, it's, it's, it's going to be hard to believe until we, until we see it. I'm not sure it can be done. Safety first. So a special set needs to be built for the crew and car to operate securely. This set will sit in the cargo bay of the aeroplane. This was pretty much the trickiest thing, because when we saw the actual measurements of the ball lead, we realized, okay, the ball lead is huge. It's like, I don't know, almost five meter long, it's almost two meter wide, and how can this even fit into the planes? We wanted to have our own interior construction inside, but he needs to build it so that it's like not taking too much space. Actually, our DP invented like a camera slider. He decided maybe it makes more sense to just build a construction to be even safer. It's kind of a motion control system that he invented. У Роскосмоса было множество интересных проектов, но вот этот можно назвать самым безумным. Space is tight. They need to change four wheels and have just 20 seconds to do it all in zero G. Yeah, I mean, uh, we are right now rehearsing and um, see if everything works out well in the camera. Camera, set. Pam, pam, The guys have got this mock up plane with a car on it, and they're just deciding foot marks and places where they're going to stand. Because obviously, when they're floating in space, they're not going to know where they can stand and what's going to happen. The team come up with a smart solution that can only be achieved in zero G. Put half the crew on the ceiling and then flip the car upside down to change the tires. So, today is preparation, but in a couple of days, it's going to be true zero gravity. Yep. It's going to be for real. No CG, no... No, no CGI. This is going to be for real. It's going to be fairly, fairly amazing and uh, interesting to see how it works out. We don't know how the car's going to react. What's it going to do? What's going to happen when it goes to you know, zero gravity? What are people going to do? When someone tries to take a wheel off, are they going to spin around themselves because of the, uh, of the forces? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be more complicated. The guys are used to their positions. They're used to where they normally sit or stand. They're used to taking a wheel off in, you know, on Earth. To be able to do it in a plane, zero gravity, they don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be difficult for us because we're used to doing pit stops on the ground with a car in this sort of position. So to be doing it in an environment where we're floating around is going to be difficult. Everything we've learned over the years to do a fast pit stop is going to be completely tested to our extreme and no one knows what's going to happen. The formula to making the zero-g pit stop work is relentless practice, discipline and precision teamwork. 
a synergy between the world-class crews of Aston Martin Red Bull Racing and Roscosmos. So preparing on the ground with the Roscosmos guys, they were very relaxed, really helpful, really professional. And I think they just tried to help us relax so that we could enjoy the experience and not be intimidated by it. The television has been watched a few times, and it has always been impressed by how the team is just doing some of the actions in a few seconds. The pit stop is in the range of 2 seconds, it's kind of impressed. I really don't know how I'm going to feel. You listen to different stories from different people, and I think there's no formula to being OK or not being OK, so it's just a case of getting on and finding out. They've given us some advice on how to behave in zero G. Don't start rushing around trying to do too much. Just get used to it, feel the environment, just steadily float around. Don't try and do somersaults or spin around, just stay calm and let your body adjust to the environment. Uh, going into the first flight, I wasn't really sure what to expect. And the first time when you go into the negative G move, it's just the biggest rush, it's crazy. It's very disorientating, but exciting, and you want it to go on for longer than it does. Suddenly, 25 seconds feels like three seconds. You have a very short space of time because of the requirements on the aircraft with fuel limitations. To watch the film crew work, how busy everybody is, how hard they're working, it's been impressive to watch that. Самая опасная работа у ребят, которые находятся на потолке. Потому что надо занять изготовочную позу, выполнить определенные действия, либо, там, либо с колесами, либо с гайковертами. И потом, до окончания весомости, занять свою позу на полу, зафиксироваться и не попасть под болит. I'm struggling to believe that this is actually happening. The first parabolic flight, I was looking at the car, I had my back to the car and I couldn't control what I was doing. And on the second one, I actually got a, a glimpse of the car floating and I couldn't believe the car was in the air. But it's not something you should be seeing. But the car was in the air just floating the same as I was and it was like, oh, I can't get this. My brain was confused what was going on. After the flight, the first words from some people were, I'm not too sure about that. And other people were, brilliant, let's do it again, let's go now. So it's been mixed, uh, mixed reception between the team. It's been a huge project building up to get this as far as we've gone so far. I think the finished product is going to be amazing. It is going to look completely different to anything we've ever seen before. OK, guys, we're shooting, we're shooting. So we are heading now in this direction, OK? After months of design, countless hours of practice and several test flights, Aston Martin, Red Bull Racing and Roscosmos are ready for the ultimate takeoff. This year, the pit stops have been right on the mark. But our team never stops pushing the boundaries. We have a new directive from headquarters. Our mission is to do a pit stop in 20 seconds. <laughs> in zero gravity.
Save now. 